Hey, welcome back to Random English. Today we're talking about learning English with mobile apps. Hi, I'm Julia and this is Random English, a channel that will help you improve your language skills. So, can you learn English using mobile apps? Well, my answer is definitely yes. Apps can allow you to improve your English a lot. On the one hand, you can use them together with other methods of studying. For example, you can study with a teacher a few times a week, and you can also use apps to add something extra, maybe more practice, maybe some useful new words and grammar structures. On the other hand, you can do a lot with apps only. Nowadays, there is a great choice. There are apps for grammar, vocabulary, listening and other things. And you can learn a lot of English using only apps. But you have to do it right. Let me give you some tips that you can use to improve your English using mobile apps. First of all, use more than one app. Mobile apps usually have a very narrow, small area of focus, for example, vocabulary or grammar or just reading or listening, and some are even smaller. For example, you can find apps only about phrasal verbs. They can be good apps, but they can teach you only phrasal verbs and nothing else. So, try to find two or three apps with different focus and use them. But don't use too many, because it can be a little bit confusing. It's better to finish one app and then start another. Second important thing, study regularly. Usually, apps allow you to practice English for quite a short time. There are exercises that you can do in just a couple of minutes. But it's important to study every day. Maybe you study just five minutes today, ten minutes tomorrow, half an hour another day. But the main idea is that you practice English regularly. Idea number three. If you don't like an app, even if it's a popular app that all other people like, it's not a problem. Delete it, move on, look for other apps. Nowadays, there are so many good, interesting apps out there that if you don't like one of them, who cares? Choose another one. Number four. Check out both free and paid-for apps. I agree, uh, sometimes apps can be quite expensive, at least for me, I like cheap and free things, but there are good apps in both categories. There are great free apps, there are great apps where you have to pay, a little bit of money and why not if you find an app that suits you find an app that you enjoy using why not pay a little bit of money it will be an investment into your english and number five as we say in english last but not least practice very often apps just give you exercises like exercises on vocabulary, exercises on grammar, but you need to practice English as much as possible with apps or in other situations. For example, listening not only to do an exercise, but listening to podcasts, music, radio, or watching videos on YouTube in English, watching BBC and so on, whatever you like. Or, for example, finding a way to practice speaking and writing. There are actually apps, I will give a couple of links below in the description, that allow you to find people all over the world to chat with them in English. Why not? It can be a good idea. You can text first and then maybe decide to call each other using Skype or WhatsApp or whatever. It is really important to practice English, because if you don't practice, you don't improve. Well, to sum it up, I would like to repeat that 
nowadays with a lot of technology and a lot of apps available you can you really can learn a lot improve your english a lot using only apps there are apps for vocabulary for grammar for listening for reading for chatting with people and if you use them correctly you can improve your english a lot i hope you like this video if you have any questions left please put them in the comments i will answer as soon as i can don't forget to like this video and subscribe to random english and i will see you around bye bye